Hello friends, this is Abril. I'm coming here today to share with you uh, fabric, the January fabric bundle from Rosie Posey. And uh, she started this new venture this, this beginning of this year and uh, January came out and she'll be doing it bi-monthly. So in March, be expecting the other one. I believe she sold out of the January, sadly, for all of you that didn't get any, but I'm gonna go ahead and share that with you. But in one of the, the lives, and I can't remember which one because I'm always jumping around everywhere. Um, she, I think it was in that one that she, she did her sale on actually, uh, if I'm not mistaken. I forget. I forget everything now. But um, <clears throat> they, there was a drawing and I won. I, I picked the lucky number. And um, let me show you. I have a mess of it. Um, but I kind of knocked it over and stuff started falling out of it. But um, it is this beautiful Tussie Mussie that Rose made. Check it out. Isn't this just loveliness? There you go. And then I love this dangle. Look at that. And then this. And then uh, just, oops. This is one of the trims. Just turn it around. Turn. So she, beautiful, just beautiful. I love it. And then she filled it with goodies, yumminess. So yes, let me show you. I am going to, oh my God, it's like, it's like looted. <gasps> Yikes. Wow, look at it, the inside too, how she did that. Wow, Rose. Very pretty. Uh oh. This one got stuck there. This is so pretty. I'm tired of looking at it. So, yay! Let me show you what she said. I get danglies of my own. Eh, 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 eh. This is pretty. Wow. Wow, Rose, thank you. Look at this one. I always have trouble telling the front from the from the back. Oh, que bonito. It's a good piece too, look. Another one of these headbands. Oh my goodness. Oh, so much yumminess. Look at this. This is the same. It's two pieces. And uh, how pretty that is. Oh, I'm going to have fun playing with this stuff. I know I keep saying I'm going to be playing with my crafty goodies and I haven't gotten around to anything. But I'm gonna because I have a swap too. I think I have two swaps too. Look at that one. So pretty. I don't know where she finds all this stuff. I go to the fabric stores all the time and I don't, either I don't know where to look or they don't carry it in like just typical fabric stores because I don't find this. This one. Another pretty. I can't wait to play with all of this stuff. Look at this one. I love this one. Isn't that pretty? And this stuff doesn't, like the camera doesn't do it justice because it looks much prettier in person. There you, oh, and don't mind my, my yucky hands. Ugh. They're super dry and my nail polish is all over the place. 
Look at this is just from the from the price from the Tussie Mussie that she stuffed with all these trims. I'm so lucky, thankful. Look at this one. Now I have yummy trims of my own. So pretty, right? Guys, I have a gigantic disaster behind me right here of stuff that I need to put away and organize. I start organizing stuff and then I disorganize a whole bunch of other stuff. But that one thing was organized now. So yeah. I ran out of space in this little cubby that I have for my stamps, like ink stamps. I bought like a whole a couple of these stashes with wood the wood stamp ones and like it filled up that one top drawer it's full I don't have so yeah I have to figure out yet again how to organize look at that one those stamps but for now I'm gonna leave them alone so I'm tired of trying to fix them and never look at this one and never actually finishing I think that problem is universal amongst us crafters though, no? Because... And then my mom's like, you're always organizing. Do you ever finish? No. It depends on what day it is, right? I finish one thing and... <clears throat> and then I got bling! I got, um, what do you call these? Appliques. Look at that. So pretty. I think I got two of those. Here's the other one. Gorgeous. And then one of these. And one of these. Yay! Thank you, Rose. <clears throat> And again, look at her beautiful Tussie Mussy that I won. I can't believe it. So I have one hanging right there. I'll hang the other one on the other side of my bookshelf. Stuff it with the goodiness. And there we go. It looks gorgeous. Gorgeous. All right. So now to business. This is the <clears throat> Rosie, Rosie Posey, Rosie Alcala uh, new venture that started in January. And this is the January fabric bundles. She is going to have a bi-monthly fabric bundle. So the next one is in March. And then the next one will be May. And then July. And so forth, so forth. Curry. But <clears throat> I think she sold out of January. And... Um, it includes beautiful fabric. I think it is 10 different fabrics. A half a yard or a yard of each. I can't remember correctly. But uh, definitely, uh, sh I'm going to link that the video where she did her sale so that you could see all the stuff that she carries. And... Um, Hopefully you could catch one of her bundles the next time it comes out. And then it comes with trim, a bag of trims and um, what do you call these little thingies? Blank it out. Just like a little embellishments and stuff. I can't remember what they're called. Like bling. A bag of lace trim and bling. And then a bag of flowers. So, let's start with the fabric bundle, shall we? And I'm going to point you down to so that you could kind of see more. And this is not it, so I'm not even going to try to bother to knot that thingy because we'll be here all day. Yes, we will. Okay. So first we have this fabric, such pretty with the um, embroidered 
pink that is so pretty embroidered pink flowers and the leaves are like the thread goes from the variated pinks and whites and the greens like the mint greens so pretty and you get she's sending uh yeah it's half a yard big pieces this is folded over so it goes from here to here but this is like you can make like in my I bought one of her D-stash fabric bundles which was different um <clears throat> this fabric she had left over from her from her monthly kits that she had, that she does and um she made D-stash fabric bundles out of those and um on one of them, I was like, ooh, I could make a cushion out of that. But you could make whatever you want. You could, I mean, probably make some tops out of this. This is the next one. This beautiful lace. Um, and um, look at that. How pretty is that? And then it has the, here at the end, see how that, again, this is a half yard, yes, half yards, um, the tom, then we have this one, look at how pretty that is, can you guys see okay, it's my light, I can't, I'm trying to see with my glasses on. This is a real pretty. And this feels sort of like a real flowy, airy, sort of like a Georgette type. I'm not too sure. And look at this one. Oh my goodness. Let's turn it. See how pretty that is? <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me have some coffee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Look at this. This is like an ivory lit. This is so pretty. Let me open an end so you could see. gorgeous right and uh, I believe they say you could cut these up in individual flowers and use them that way or you could use the piece as a whole I mean the possibilities are endless and then this is <clears throat> like a linen type of fabric I love this fabric it is so pretty look at the colors this is really good for a journal cover or I've been looking into how to do a, a fabric a book but it's so pretty love it and then there's this one this is, this is like a beigey kind of color different than the other one because the other one's sort of like crochet kind of type and this one's just the lace <clears throat> but it's still pretty oh I better start using my stuff because seriously do I'm like running out of space look at this pretty lilac lavender color with a white lace on top of it <clears throat> Very pretty, and it's a lace too. It's uh, there you go. Such fun, beautiful fabric. Look at this one. <gasps> Gorgeous, huh? So you can see some of the crushed. Uh, I believe it's like Valor, Crush Valor. Oh, I don't even know. 
I used to know my fabrics. I was always at the fabric store. And then look at this one. This feels really soft, sort of. It's a knit, definitely a stretch knit. But just the way it feels, it sort of feels like a suede kind of finish. Look at that. So pretty. So those are the fabrics. And then we go to the tr bag of trims and um, bling. Oop. And she has some beautifully packaged, which I just totally unpackaged all slop sloppily. Is that a word? Look at this trim. And uh, this is sort of like a coral kind of color. It's not uh, as pink as it looks on there. Or, yeah, I don't know. Can't see whether my glasses on or off. That's craziness. Look at this pretty dainty. Oh, this is sweet. And that is a pink. And then you have this trim. And that's like an ivory color. So much yumminess. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Look at this one. Use that up. Or down. Then this trim. Oh, look at it. This is so darling. It's like a yellow, almost. It looks very eastery. I like it. Ooh, look at this one, y'all. Oh my goodness. I'm just ooing. Cause it has so much for oh so pretty. You know, I should try doing an, one of those altered boxes. The fabric cover boxes that Amy Love is doing, which come out really beautiful. Another doily. And then doilies. More doilies. More doilies. Pretty, pretty. Look at these cutie, itty bitty ones. These. I accidentally hit the, the stop instead of the pause button again. So here we go. We were in the doilies, the little ones. And then she has these little ones. There's three of them. <clears throat> And then this, this one. And this real pretty. This is a wide, this is about three inches or four inches. There you go. Super pretty. And then this applique. And then we have the bling. And it has one of these.
this. My daughter's here. She's making noise in the kitchen. Look at this one. I don't know where she gets these. I've never seen these before. Oh, look at this. And this one. So pretty. Oh. I have this. Well, actually, it probably goes like this. And then you could dangle things out of there. It's super cute. This one, too. Just like that. Then a feather. You guys remember when you used to wear feather earrings? Way back when? I didn't used to wear feather earrings, but my high school bestie did. <clears throat> I don't even think I used to wear earrings, but I like the, like the long earrings. Very pretty. And then we have the flowers. So you get like tons, tons of stuff. Okay. Look at these. So pretty. Then you have these. Oh, look at this one. Very pretty. Oh, and then these two. So, yes. So this is the January fabric bundle that um, Rose Alcala released and um, the next one will be in March and it'll be the same concept and always Rose sees her kits, her monthly kits. She even has some happy, happy bags. Um, which are, are like bags with uh, whatever color you want, pinks, blues, uh, ivories, avocado dyed, of laces and trims, and <clears throat> flowers, and um, also her now, her, her fabric bundles. Um, everything is always very pretty, good quality, um, and just, you must have, absolutely, I must have. I, I, um, I'm so happy that I was able to grab one. So thank you for stopping by. Love and blessings to you always. Bye-bye.